my friend, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative and the Synergy Lifestyle Academy. And today we're going to be talking about the topic of photography. And I have my friend David, I got to see if I can pronounce his last name because it's a little different. It's Mick, Mick Cammon. Is that right? That's very good. That's <laughs> I did good. good. Yay. David yeah. McCammon. So how are you today, David? I'm doing great. Doing great. Worked with an art director a long time ago. He used to call me Jammin McCamera. <laughs> It's a good, fun nickname. Well, that's kind of cool. That sounds like something you do. You have like an action figure around and all that kind of stuff. Right. Maybe create a movie. <laughs> yeah. It came more out of my musical interest. But. So I don't do these real long. These are just kind of get to know who you are and what you do so that if people are interested in what it is you do, they can contact you and uh, move forward from there. So the first thing is, who are you? Are you married, got kids, you single, wild, and crazy, or both, or what? <laughs> uh, no, I've been married for uh, 43 years. Woo! Yeah, my wife and I were pretty young when we got married, and uh, and uh, we have two great kids. And I can't call them; they're not even children anymore. They're adults doing their own thing on their own. So we're empty nesters now, which is a, which is a gas as well. It's great to be here, and we get to see them periodically. And they're uh, so yeah, that's been a big part of my life for sure. Is is family done all kinds of things with them. From, we used to camp a lot together. Have you lived in the same spot? You live in Canada. I do. I grew up in Montreal, actually, uh, in Quebec, and uh, the eastern townships of Montreal, which is about 100 miles east of Montreal. Um, that's where I met my wife, actually. Eventually, uh, we moved to Toronto. I wanted to study photography at uh, Ryerson University in Toronto. And so we She's been a real trooper hanging with me and moving around. And so we moved to Toronto and uh, went to school. She ended up studying as well. She studied ceramics at, at Sheridan College. In the end, uh, when I graduated, uh, do you want me to give you a little lowdown well, on my history? Or do you want... Well, I was just going to say that was a, well, you mentioned you went to school for photography. That's probably a good yeah. segue into what it is that you do, because that's what you do as, as a career, right? Photography? Yeah. And, uh, professional photographer for 30 years now uh still love it had some it's just been an amazing road i tell you i've met some incredible people uh, are you in a specific things. niche in photography or do you kind of just if it uh, sits in front of the lens i'll take a picture of it <laughs> i used to be uh i used to do everything um and that, that had to do with my personality uh opportunities work and when we moved out to kitchener which is where we are now uh, which is about a mile, an hour west of Toronto, uh, the the opportunities were different, and it's a smaller market. So you know, I did everything: weddings, babies, families, uh, went down mines, the whole gamut. So annual wow. reports. So yeah, I, uh, I I photographed for a large food Loblaws, a large food organization, grocery chain across Canada used to photograph for one of their satellite companies every week for about 15 years. That was my bread and butter. I had a friend that um, took pictures of me when I was a full-time magician. He would take all my my publicity shots and stuff. But he had gone through the gamut of doing like weddings and then um, the, uh, glamour shots. I don't know if you have those around here, but they turned into a chain and he kind of just lost interest in all that. And now he's gone back into weddings and he focuses on Hmong weddings. You know, the people, the, the Hmong people that came here to, from Vietnam and stuff. Oh, okay, right. So he Thank focuses you. on Hmong's weddings and he supports their, their annual new year, sponsors it. And everything springs off from there into their graduation parties and then private stuff. But he's right in that niche and it just whew, exploded. Yeah, that's Pretty fantastic. Cool. And, and that's a, when we did weddings at, we stopped doing weddings in 2001, actually. Uh, business was, we were just doing too much. Decided to rein things in. Could have hired another photographer was one possibility, but we decided to keep, because, and the we part being my wife, Julia, she was the, she was the brains behind the operation, basically. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, and I just anyway. pushed the button. <laughs> <laughs> well, not quite that simple, but yeah, for sure. <laughs> The, uh, but I learned a lot from her business stuff. You know, I just didn't know any of that. And that's an important part of 
of uh, running, being a successful photographer. It's not just the photography. Yeah, it's usually that way because a photographer is like an artist. And usually artists have this etheric thinking style where a marketer needs to have a logical thinking style. So uh, having that blend works pretty good. Yeah. I, you know, and I think there's an element I've, I've dealt with a number of artists locally too on this topic and i think they tend to fight it a little bit and and i know when i did started in photography you love what you do right so you almost want to give it away it it doesn't uh you don't necessarily recognize the value in what you do and that's something that that i'm trying to do right now things have evolved with this book that i've written so uh, i want to try and help photographers artists but mainly photographers uh, make a living at this and and uh, charge what they need to charge to make a good living out of it. And I think that's really important. To, there are certain things that you can do to just make that um, more realistic for yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good at that kind of thing. I'm a Gemini, so my brain toggles back be, back and forth between the logical and the analytical and, and, the, and the etheric kind of stuff. So I go back sure. and forth. But when you first said that, like... Artists do want to give it away, so why not create so much stuff that you give away half of it and sell the other half, and let a marketer, you know, raise the prices? You could definitely give out samples, and people love your stuff. And yeah, but yeah, the, I know what you that. mean because sometimes yeah. they just don't. Oh, I can't really accept money for this. I had such a good time doing it. It only took me fourteen days. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. That's part of it, right? That's a big part of it. Is I remember I went to I went through Ryerson, and it was more of an art photography school learned a ton there was no business courses or anything like that in those days and um, when I got out I didn't know anything about making a living at this and uh, my wife again genius that she is she found a course a night course at a local college on the business of photography oh cool and the first thing this guy asked us he said over the next week I want you to uh, sit down and whatever you do, say you do weddings, I want you to figure out all the time that goes into that wedding, not just the photographing of the wedding, but the consulting with the client. And he said, ordering film, it was right. film days, cleaning your cameras, anything you do, getting to the wedding, getting back, the whole thing, figure out how many hours you spend doing that yeah. and figure out how much you're making an hour. Exactly. Oh, oh, my it's a wake up. <laughs> wanna, yeah. Bang. Okay. So you, you've got a book. Rates are going up. You, you've got a book that helps people with this. Yeah, I've written a book. It's co- actually here. It is sure. behind me, uh, right here. It's here called go. Image Power. Image Power. Passion and profit in business, and it's it's got uh, some ideas about how to charge. What do you charge? Uh, uh, how do you create value around what you do? That's a big. I mean, that's a big thing for any business, sure. whether you're a photographer or. Uh, have a retail store you've got to create value you've got to create customer experience. well all that stuff it's it's perceived value per anyways because a picture of a tree is a picture of a tree is a picture of a tree until you put a frame around it and you tell a story about that tree and why that tree is that way now you increase the value it's like coca-cola sure. is just sugar water with bubbles in it but look at the money they get for it yeah you know? yeah and you know and even say weddings i'm sort of focusing on weddings today mm-hmm. but it applies to anything it, when Julia and I were married, here's here's a little tale. My my mother asked me when we decided to get married. She said, "Do you want a photographer for your wedding?" And I was just starting to get into photography a little more seriously. And I said, "Photographer, my wedding? What for? I don't want a guy hassling me or whatever." No, she said, "Cool." Two weeks before the wedding, she and I'm really grateful she did this for a variety of reasons. She said, "David, I don't give a damn whether you want a photographer or not. I do, and I hired one." And, and the guy, we have this album, which is great. You know, I had a big burly beard, no mustache. They used to call me Abe, long hair, the whole gamut, right? So it's a record of, of, of I have a family portrait in there that doesn't yeah. exist anymore, right? But the guy, he was a bear. He was not fun to work with. So when we got into weddings, that was number one. We wanted to really add to the day. So, sure. so it becomes a part of the experience we do in a positive way. And that feeds into the images, right? So they're looking at the images and they're, they're remembering oh, yeah. fun things that we did. So it, it, it balloons the whole positive nature of it. So it, and, and that's, a, that's where you bring in value as well. So before I ask my favorite and last question, why don't you show your book again and so get a good image of the cover? I'm assuming sure. it's available on Amazon and all those places. It is, yeah. It's called 
image power. It's got a picture of you with a camera. Okay, yeah. good to know. Good to know. So here's my favorite question, and then I'll sign this off and beam it up to the universe for people to find. The question is why? Why? Why are you involved with this? Why aren't you maybe being a surf instructor or a ski instructor? Or why aren't you a member of the Canadian Mounted Police or something? Why are you doing photography? Well, I can't surf, but I can ski. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I love the medium and I, I fell in love with it a long time ago. Uh, I think it's a great medium. It's a very democratic medium. But there's a situation with the digital age where photographers are starting to give it away and they, they don't need to do that. And I want to sort of raise the bar and say, hey, you can do better. You can make a really great living at this okay. if you follow some of the ideas here. I'm developing some programs out of this for, for photographers to pursue as well. So it's uh, it's really my, I, I, I want to give back to the industry in that way, elevate it back it. to, and we've all, you know what, we've always had situations where uh, we had weekend warriors giving stuff away and that's no different, but if we, we can create a good business model around our photography, okay. we can make lots of money out of it. Well, I like that. Uh, I, I do a lot of these interviews and when I ask the why question, oftentimes it's to help other people. And I see what you're doing. You're kind of letting people know that, yeah, you can just take pictures, but why not make some money at it? Because if you make enough money, you could actually donate it to a cause or something. So why not yeah. monetize yeah, sure. it? That makes sense. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, David, I'm going to sign this one off because I don't like to make them too long. I to keep it condensed right. for people so they can watch the whole thing. So I'm going to sign this one off and beam it up. If you want to stay on, we can chat a little but further. Can I add, add one more Absolutely. thing before we go? Yeah, how, can, how do actually, we get a hold of you? You can get this on Amazon. You can get a order a hard copy through my website, david at, davidmcphoto.com. And there are three op opportunities there to purchase it. Perfect. I'm glad you caught time. caught that on so, me. I want to definitely want to put that. I'll put this link also in the in place that I post it too. So awesome. again, I appreciate your time. I'm going to sign this one off. Thanks, Thanks again for lot, spending right. the day on Synergy Cafe. Eh? Right on. <laughs> hey, yeah. I use A a lot. <laughs>